Hello and welcome to video three of EVA Foam 101. Today we're gonna to be talking about power tools you can use to cut EVA foam. Let's get started. There are two power tools that people usually use to cut any sort of EVA foam that they're using. It's either gonna be a bandsaw or what I like to use, which is the scroll saw that I have. Now there are pros and cons to using those power tools, right? The pro is that you can cut a lot faster and a lot of these come with beds that tilt so that angles can become significantly easier. The con is that they do cost a little bit more money. In the description, I've actually posted a link to uh, the newer version of the scroll saw I have as well as a really good beginning bandsaw that I think you guys will like. So check out those and I'm going to show you exactly how I use the scroll saw to cut EVA foam. First thing that you're going to need is that you're going to need some safety glasses. Um, if I'm cutting a lot of EVA foam, I will put on ear protection as well as a face mask just to keep the dust out of my face. Um, if I am cutting angles, I will use a quick clamp as well as um, a piece of lumber as a stop so that I can make sure that all the angles come out consistent and nice. The first thing that I'm gonna show you is how I do straight cuts on the actual scroll saw. So I've just taken some scrap foam and I'm just gonna show you how I do those straight cuts. Now what's really great about this scroll saw is it does have a plate there that you put at the height of your foam so your foam doesn't move up and down as you are cutting it. And what's really great is you can cut these curves relatively easy. Of course, you gotta wash your fingers. Um, and they come out really great and happen a lot easier uh, than sometimes just cutting with a, with a normal uh, knife. So now I'm gonna show you how I actually set up for angle cuts. So I move that spacer out of the way and there is actually a bolt on the bottom that allows me to uh, loosen and turn the table to the degree. Um, what's really great about scroll saws is there is a, a gauge to see what degree that you are at. Um, a lot of times I'm doing this because I wanna bevel, so I'm doing those 40 degree uh, angle cuts, which are super great, and then you can see me tighten that bolt down. The next step is to make sure that that top brace that's make uh, that's holding the foam in place as you cut it is in place um that requires me to just grab a screwdriver and to tilt that to the angle and i do test it every single time with a piece of foam which you'll see me do it's just to make sure that that spacer stays in place and is actually going to be holding my my piece down the best way to do that is with that spacer so that you're not getting your fingers too close to uh, the knives that can actually hurt it. Um, so I just use the foam that I'm going to cut as the spacer to make it happen. And in order to make sure that my foam is gonna cut at that angle every single time, I do clamp a piece of lumber, which you'll see that stick right there. It can be anything, any kind of lumber. Um, this just happens to be a, a square dowel that I had in stock. And then I just clamp it right to the build plate. It allows me to you know, set it up real fast and then to take it away when it, when it needs to be taken away. And with the clamp ready, let's cut a bevel. like and subscribe to this channel for more EVA Foam 101 videos as well as making videos. Happy making!